dear students today i am going to introduce a subject called supply chain management which is an open elective for final year computer science and engineering students at the outset let us understand what is a supply chain let us take an example you are walking on the road in the afternoon you feel hungry usually what we do we go to the nearest shop or supermarket and you are asking for a product of your choice for example you are asking for a biscuit of your choice maybe britannia the shop owner or supermarket salesman is able to give the product what you have asked for certainly you feel happy now how does it happen when you enter into the shop and ask for a product it is readily available there that is where the supply chain plays a role then what is supply chain actually it is the complete process which makes the finished product available in the shops or supermarket from the manufacturer then we should understand what is the importance of the supply chain you go back to the same example you entered into a shop and asked for a particular product as you have discussed britannia biscuit the salesman says no it's not available so what will you do you go to the next shop and ask for the same product if the next shop is able to give it in this scenario the first shop where you entered they lost the customer value and of course profit also but the second shop where you entered they were able to give it so they earned the customer value and certainly the profit also then another scenario suppose you entered into the first shop the product is not available then the second shop where you entered they also say the product is not available of course you went to the third shop also they also say the same thing the product is not available so in this case what will you do you may switch over from one product to another product for example you may switch over from britannia to sunfish because sunfish was available in the shop so in this scenario the manufacturer they lost the customer value and also the profit but not the actual shop value purchased so that is what the importance of the supply chain in any business delivering a product or service or any kind of selling things then you may ask a question why should i study as a computer science student the supply chain management here next you may ask a question as a computer science student why should we study the subject supply chain management as we are going to discuss in the further classes you may understand that at every stage of supply chain management information technology or software plays a role in managing the process it may be a flow of information or a flow of funds or a flow of products in all these stages software plays a very important role that is why as a computer science student we are going to discuss the supply chain management for example you can take a, it may be a e-commerce websites like amazon or flipkart or any other uh, alibaba or familiar uh, e-commerce portals 
the software plays a critical role in managing their business. So that is why it is better to discuss this elective subject supply chain management as part of our course. Okay, now we formally define what is a supply chain. See if you see the syllabus of SEM, that is supply chain management. So what is the objective of this course is to provide an insight on the fundamentals of supply chain networks, tools and techniques. The objective of the course is to understand how the process takes place and how the software helps at all stages. If you take unit 1, that is introduction, it talks about the introducing the topics of logistics and uh, supply chain management and how it evolved and how it helps for the supply chain performance and this unit 2 talks about supply chain network design that is how the product is distributed to the different places and how the practice helps for the distribution of products Third unit talks about the logistics, that is the actual transportation of the product and various issues involved in logistics. And fourth unit talks about whether we can outsource the process to the third parties and how it may help the business to improve the performance and also the profit. The fifth unit, the very important topic that is which talks about how information technology helps in the supply chain. What is the outcome of this course? The students will understand the framework and scope of supply chain networks and functions. So you will understand the complete process so that as a computer science student you may try to help the supply chain management through the software or any other uh, automation process. The textbook what you are going to use is written by Sunil Chopra and others that is supply chain management strategy planning and operation from Pearson education and references we have got four books to refer on these topics. So you see what is a supply chain. So a supply chain consists of all parties involved directly or indirectly in fulfilling a customer request. Suppose the supply chain includes the manufacturer and suppliers, transporters, warehouses, retailers and customers. So you may go back to the example where we have started today. There you have seen the customer request. What is a customer request? He wanted to get a biscuit of his choice. So if the supply chain is working properly with all these parties, then only the customer is able to get the product at his place or whatever the uh, shop or supermarket or any other uh, kind of selling place. So the supply chain includes the manufacturer and suppliers. So here the supplier means who supplies the raw materials to the manufacturer. Then only the manufacturer can produce the product. The transporters, that means those who transport the product to one place to another place. Warehouses means where you keep the product before going to the particular shop or supermarket. So you keep warehouses in different places so that you will be able to supply the product, finish the product as and when it is required. And retailers are those who are operating between the shops and the uh, distributors and finally it reaches the customers. So that is the definition of a supply chain. 
what are the functions of supply chain the supply chain includes the functions involved in receiving and filling a customer request so we should understand what customer wants so as a shop owner or a supermarket where the salesman understand what is the interest of the customer then according to that so it may involve a new product development so based on the customer request they may go for a new product development because customer may give his ideas or feedback or uh, his request or his interest so based on that a new product development may also go on and marketing how we can take the product to the different people and operations what are the operations takes place in all stages it may be in manufacturing or transportation or warehouses or selling or whatever it is and distribution means how we can take the product to different places finance of course money involves at all stages and finally the ultimate aim is customer service it is also important to visualize information funds and product flows along both directions of this chain so it is not only the product moves from one place to another place we are talking about the information flow which takes place between the different parties involved and also the fund flow takes place between the different parties involved in this case next we take the example of a detergent supply chain suppose we take here procter and gamble it is a company which produces soaps and detergents so here you may see that the various suppliers like a timber industry paper manufacturer so they are actually supplying the uh, materials for packaging and uh, they have to get the raw materials from chemical manufacturer uh, which is used for manufacturing a detergent or soap or whatever it is then after manufacturing the product it goes to the distributors from the distributors it goes to the supermarket and finally from the supermarket it reaches the customer suppose a typical supply chain may involve variety of stages so you take it starts from customer actually customer he wants uh, uh, a product retailers retailers are supplying the product to the different shops and above the retailers you have got wholesalers or distributors maybe they may be operating in the particular region for example uh, in which includes four or five districts or something like that or states or whatever it is even countries and manufacturer the actual the product is manufactured in the particular company and manufacturer they are getting different uh, raw materials or components which are used for producing the material and also for packaging the material so a supply chain is dynamic and involves the constant flow of information it's not static so every day or every minute it is based on the uh, selling rate or uh, the product nature of the product so there must be a constant flow of information between these parties all the parties involved here product or funds so all this flow will take place in parallel information flow product flow and funds flow you see this diagram so i request you to fill it up so what will be the uh, parties involved in this interaction so interaction takes place at different places so as for the discussions we have had so far so you can easily identify where will you start it starts from supplier that is supplier means one who supplies the raw materials as we already discussed so you may fill it up the first box is supplier what is the second one in horizontal manufacturer of course the manufacturer get the material from the supplier from that manufacturer it goes to the distributors from the distributors it goes to the retailers from the retailers it goes to the customer so now you may fill it up the boxes so what is the first one supplier manufacturer distributors retailers and the customer so the interaction takes place between these parties in all stages you may see that 
in cross border also that means one customer interacts with another customer one retailer interacts with another retailer and one manufacturer of course they may interact with another manufacturer and one supplier interacts with another supplier so interaction takes place in different stages in different possible ways the ultimate aim is to increase the customer value and also of course to make the maximum profit so if you see the evolution of logistics and supply chain management how it started actually so initially it started as a physical distribution management so there was no uh, more much more management concept so it is just like the physical distribution so there was no coordination some something like that but what happened uh, this narrow approach so due to this the companies might have lost the customer value and also the profit and also the the whole business so the people have gone for the integrated logistic management so that which helps them to achieve that the aim of that particular organization or any manufacturer so due to this so the scope is increasing and included suppliers and customers in the organization so that we can easily coordinate the flow of information and materials ultimate uh, the final uh, aim is to make the finished product available to the customers so the objectives of the supply chain management are to eliminate redundancies redundancy means doing the same job again and again so that without any real uh, objective so what will happen you will have to lose the your money or work or manpower or whatever it is so we want to eliminate the redundancies and reduce cycle time that means the time it takes to reach the particular customer the product has to reach the customer in a minimum time and inventory inventory means keeping the materials ready in different places in stock so that whenever it is required or whenever there is a demand we will be able to supply it at a particular place so the whole thing makes to provide better customer service at a lower cost so this is the objective of the supply chain management So now what is a focus that shifted from share of the market paradigm to the share of the customer paradigm where the goal is to create customer value. So the ultimate uh, objective is to create the customer value leading to increase profitability of course. So the every business it operates for the profit and shareholder value. The shareholder has to get the profit of the company and sustain competitive advantage. So we should be able to compete with the other companies which are also doing the same business then only we can sustain in the market 